YouTube family. I gotta hurry up and make this quick, but I'm happy to see you. It's your favorite student doctor, Paige and Dr. Q. And the reason I have to make this quick, guys, um, I'm gonna put out a video right before this that explains where I've been, um, post-step, everything like that. But right now, I'm taking you guys on a 24-hour on call. I'm on currently on ob gyno rotation, so I am on call for 24 hours. It is now 7 a.m., so I'm technically late. From 7 a.m. Wednesday to 7 a.m. Thursday, I will be on the OB ward. I'll be doing deliveries, C-sections, circumcisions, uh, vaginal deliveries, um, newborn exams, everything. And I'm gonna try to take you guys with me. Of course, I can't show you everything or a lot of things because you know of confidentiality and HIPAA in the hospital. Um, but during my breaks, I'll fill you guys in um, just briefly on what kind of things I'm doing and how it's going and whether or not I can make it the whole 24 hours. So stay tuned guys, it's your boy Page and Dr. Q. I missed y'all. Thank you for the new subscribers. Glad to be back. Stay tuned. What's up YouTube family? It's your boy Page and Dr. Q. I'm currently on my lunch break. On my 24 hour OB gyn shift. And it's going great so far. So far, guys, I have been first assist on a laparoscopic tubal ligation and a endometrial ablation using Novashore. So I got 18 more hours left for this shift. I'll be leaving at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Sorry if the camera's quality bad. Uh, I have to go back to the LND, labor and delivery. Um, got a couple ladies in labor. So I'll check back in with you guys, man. Thank you for following me. It's Page and Dr. Q. We out. I just delivered a baby. YouTube family, I just delivered a baby with the help of an amazing team, midwife, my preceptor, but they let me do it all by myself. From pushing, to cradling the head, to straddling, to pulling the shoulders out, to delivering the placenta, I just delivered a baby, and it's the craziest experience ever. Yeah, my eyes are a little watery, it's cause I'm tired, not that I'm crying, although it's very, very emotional. I'm in the doctor's lounge, student lounge, doctor's lounge. But yeah, guys, I delivered a baby boy. It's crazy. It's currently. I'll show you guys the time. It's 10:33 p.m. I'm here till 7 a.m. I've been here since 7 a.m. today. I'm here till 7 a.m. tomorrow. This is 24 hours with a medical student, OB guy. This is awesome. I just delivered a baby with these hands. Page not to cue. What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube family? I hope you guys can hear me right now. I'm using my mic because I don't want to be too loud and uh, charging my phone. As you guys can see, my eyes are red. I'm obviously tired, but I'm having a great time. I'm learning a lot, learning a ton, and this has been an experience for the books so far. I'm in the student lounge. Monster, some ice. Um, I'm done. I just delivered a baby, guys, as you can see from the last scene. Um, it's still surreal. Still crazy. Just a little bit of highlights on the experience. It's tough to work 24 hours, but you know, it's hard to stay up. And I 
married a maid of God, but it's so fun at the same time. You're staying at the hospital, you're seeing so much, you're doing so much. This morning I did three operations in the OR, I had two for ligation, I had a mutual ablation, a C-section, I did two vaginal deliveries, and for the most part I got nine hours left of this 24-hour shift, and my night is still young. So let's see, I'm going to get guys, I'm so excited to be here. I don't know if OB God has quite a specialty for me, but I'm excited nonetheless. They have showers in here, they have snacks, they have scrubs, so you do that, so it's awesome. And so I'm just chilling here, getting relaxed, so I'm not going to go to sleep just yet. Maybe at midnight or so, I'll probably get this out, and they'll just come wake me up if anything interesting pops up. So we'll see you guys, page and Dr. Pete. Alright. It's <sighs> a wrap. 24 hours, man. 7 a.m. Wednesday to 7 a.m. Thursday. Always, always had an appreciation for women, but all I say is after participating in a few vaginal deliveries, fellas, like, just, just do something nice for your girl.